Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a uh, motion video. I'm just showing you guys how to make a uh, lightsaber effect using iMotion, the uh, new one. So get our video clip right here. There, okay. So you're going to go to library and shapes and it should be neon rectangle. Now you can just click um, Wherever the frame starts, where I so about right there. All right, so I'm just gonna drag that right here, and there we go. So now you can click Inspector. Uh, you can change the color. I like mine different. Um, maybe red. I, I don't care. Whatever you guys, whatever you want. So let's match that color as best we can. Okay, that's pretty much exact. Okay, so you can uh, geometry, you can round it. I like mine pretty round, so like that's pretty nice. Um, and yeah, so um, you can change the color to like complete red, turn everything else off, and it'll be like a red lightsaber if you like that. Uh, let's just change that to red. Okay, there we go. Um, so you just drag it to the place. I probably want to make that a bit smaller. And drag that out to about there for me. Maybe put it in my hand. I don't know, whatever you want. Uh, just tap it right here since I don't actually have a real lightsaber. Okay, that's pretty nice right there. Okay, so now you're just going to keyframe it. You hit this little red button with the uh, plus clicks, uh, record. So you can just record and then you just arrow through it like that. And whenever you move it like there, you see those little lines right here? They should follow it wherever it goes uh, to show. Like, So I'd suggest if you're hardly moving it, hardly move those because if you move it around a lot, it looks like really a hot cord. So just move it over there a little. Up there maybe. Move it forward. Just a little bit so it looks more real. And now it's starting to go upwards. So you just kind of curve it up a little bit. Now I'm curving it up more. So you go like that. And now more. So just make it pretty much like that. There, that's that's good. Right here, turn it a little bit right here. Oh my god, my dog's having like a spaz. Scout, stop! Oh well. Okay, there. Now I'm turning it this way. It's completely straight. So like I said, you have to like be very precise or else it'll look really weird when you're done with it. Okay, so I don't really move it much, maybe a little bit up. And about there. We should cut it, so just hit that. Right, now we can watch it. Alright, this is the final end product. We just need to uh Just need to drag it to where the frame ends. Starts here. About there. That's good. Alright. So now let's just put it full screen, click off of it, and watch it. And that's it. Now, if you'd like to get more, you know, you want it to look better, uh, it's just getting Adobe After Effects, or maybe, um, 
just try to keyframe it better. It's just really hard unless you like holding a real lightsaber, which I don't have. But if you have that, it'll probably be easier for you. Um, anyway, until next time, guys. See ya.